Um, hello everyone. I hope everyone's doing well. Um, today we're going to make cookies. And then I realized um, I was out of butter. I was out of flour. So uh, I didn't have too many recipes that would, um, that would um, fit the, the, the number of ingredients I have left at home. And as you know, everybody is trying to stay home to uh, fight the spread of um, COVID-19. So I managed to dig out a recipe that I love. It's actually made with the following ingredients. There's actually one, two, three, four, five ingredients. You can't beat that. So, and this definitely avoids having to run to the store. We have a generous two cups of walnuts. We have five tablespoons of sugar. We have one teaspoon of baking soda, two eggs, and three quarter cup of chocolate chips. And that will make us the best walnut cookies ever. Now, the reason I really like this recipe, and I have to admit, I, I do this regularly in my house. Number one, it doesn't have any gluten. Uh, the second thing is very low in sugar, five tablespoons. I mean, I'm looking at cookie recipes and they all yield half a cup or more. Um, so, and this one also has no butter. And so for people who are trying to manage their cholesterol, walnuts um, do have oil, but um, it's a good cholesterol and walnuts are very good for your heart. So no flour, no sugar, excellent for your heart. Um, so I think if you wanted a treat, this is definitely a nice treat and healthier than some other treats. So um, the other thing I wanted to say is, although nuts, as you know, nuts are high in calories, they're very filling and they contain a lot of good, um, um, good minerals and, and vitamins and zinc and all kinds of different things. But um, I definitely will take nuts over flour if I had a choice, and I would definitely take uh, oils from a nut than butter. So in terms of um, health, I think this is a this is a winner. And as you will see, it's a very easy recipe. So let's start. We are going to turn these walnuts into a walnut butter. Again, I wash my hands 20 seconds under the sink um, with hot soap and water. So here we go, we're gonna start. Now, because nuts are high in um, oil, it'll turn into better, butter very quickly. And I see one stuck up here, so sometimes you have to um, adjust. Here we go, so. see it's starting to look a little oily um, at the same token Do you see how it's starting to turn into a walnut butter? That's what you want. So now I'm gonna add the rest of my ingredients, starting with the sugar, then the um, baking soda, and let's see, I'm gonna break my two eggs in there too. shell in there that I have to fish out. Here we go. Putting this back in. And mixing it all together. All right. Oh my gosh, this is a beautiful taste which I will now spread on a cookie sheet. So what you want, here's the cookie sheet. We're gonna oil it a little bit. I happen to have sunflower oil right here. Works best with the hand because um, 
if you do a paper towel or something, uh, it absorbs too much and you're not having enough on your cookie sheet. So here we go. Now I have this beautiful paste right here with walnuts, sugar, baking soda, and eggs. I am going to transfer that paste into a bowl. Now these blades are very sharp, so when you work with a, uh, a food processor like this, make sure you don't touch the blade. It's very, very sharp. Here we go. So, it's in the sink. All right, so I'm gonna transfer into my bowl. It looks like peanut butter, <laughs> but it's not. As a matter of fact, um, now that I think about it, you can do this with pretty much any nuts. Uh, I'm using walnuts, but if you wanted to do pistachios, you could. Peanuts, I've done it with peanuts. You can do it with peanuts. Uh, you can also do it with sunflower seeds. <laughs> All right, so here we go. We've got this paste. We add in the chocolate chips. And now we're going to stir the chocolate chips in there. Beautiful. It's nice and stirred. Look at this. It, it looks like cookie dough. I mean, you wouldn't even know it's just nuts and no flour, no butter in there. It's amazing. All right, so here we go. I'm going to get rid of this big spoon and work with smaller spoons, like two, two soup spoons is what I'm going to use because I don't want to put my, my hands in there. Um, and here we go. This is what you're going to do. You're going to do little drops of batter and flatten them with the back of the spoon. So you're going to do this all along. My cookie sheet is ready to go into the oven. I have more batter, but I'll do one batch at a time. So as you can see, it makes a quite nice amount of cookies. It's about, what, uh, 13, 14, 15. So here it goes in the oven at 350 for 10 minutes. I just took them out of the oven. It's been 10 minutes. Um, they were in the oven for 10 minutes at 350. You can see they have a little bit of a color on top. You don't want them too brown. You just, you need to let them sit to cool up, but I'm dying to try them. So I'm gonna check and see what they're gonna taste like. So here we go. We've got one on a plate. Mmm, they look so fabulous. Look at them, they look like cookies, right? No flour, no butter. How amazing, let's try it. Mmm, delicious. So, if you don't have butter and you want to make cookies, here we go. Hopefully you have nuts. I wish everybody a nice Easter or Passover. And um, hopefully, I hope to see you soon with some more great recipes. A bientôt. Au revoir.